So, the federal government has basically legalized marijuana. Anyways, let's do a quick YouTube search. Federal gov. What the fuck? Federal government preparing for war with the American people. Federal government out of control. What the fuck? Why is this the second thing? Federal government preparing for war with the American people. Federal US government preparing for collapse. And not in a nice way. Oh, shit. Alright, I never thought I'd see the day where I go onto my YouTube, type in federal government, and the first thing that pop up would be, is going to war with the American people. Now, that being said, how should we feel about this? We shouldn't be surprised at all. Why? Because the government's been acting real dickish lately. Okay, that 40, I can't remember if it's 40 million or 40 billion rounds of hollow, po hollow points. Okay, this right here is a 45 ACP. That's ball ammo right there. That's what the military uses, though they usually use 9mm. I mean, they got a few guys who actually use 45, but there. A hollow point is banned by the Geneva Convention. As you see here, this is a ball ammo. That ball end right there. It's hollowed out, not to the point where there's nothing to back the thing up, but, you know, just enough material there to get the bullet out. When it twists and turns upon hitting the target, that hollow cavity expands outwards, creating a larger bullet around, and therefore doing more damage. That's not something you use for target practice, people. That's meant for people. Okay. I don't know exactly how those things got out, but there was a guy uh, who, when the first thing, when it first came out, that the the HS was buying this stuff. He did a report on it. They're getting this stuff over a period of time now. If I can find the guy, I'm gonna leave him right here, the video right here, in the annotations. But I'm gonna look for him after I post this. Okay, they they buy they're buying all that. What else could be pissing the people off? Okay, let me see here. Small towns getting SWAT teams. Really, I live in a town of 6,000 people. What the fuck do we need SWAT teams for? Oh, oh, oh you, get, you gotta get them terrorists. Well, actually, you gotta worry about the meth dealers. And in that case, well, what we have right now is sufficient enough. It's just, our police are a bunch of fucking pussies. I've seen this on more than one occasion with the police here in my town. I know this isn't just my police. If there is something that's a real danger, they don't do a damn thing. However... If there's something that's not a danger, they'll come out in full mass with as many guys out there as possible. I know, I've had this shit happen to me! That being said, okay, let's think about these unconstitutional laws being passed. And executive orders. Do I really need to start off with what Bush did? And people, don't just blame Obama. Bush did a, his fair share of shit, too. Look at all the evil executive orders he had. The government, because of executive orders that he passed, he wrote up, if you're a farmer and you got fields of plants just growing, they need that shit, they can steal it. I don't remember the exact number of the executive order. All right. Let's think about other things. Bush also declared that Congress was completely ceremonial and that he can declare himself a dictator at any time. He could have became a complete fucking dictator, but did he? No, 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 no. Obama? Will he do it? No. I don't see him doing it. I think he wants to live... So next asshole, maybe. Okay, let's continue on. More on the unconstitutional legislation, the John Warner Defense Act. That happened during the early 90s, when the militia group really started growing, when it had a boom. What stopped that? Timmy McVeigh. Yep. The militia groups went underground when that shit happened. A couple of years later, we have the Patriot Act because of some shit that happened on 9-11. And then, we had the National Defense Authorization Act on 2012, Christmas Eve. You look at this legislation, you're like, the Founding Fathers would have killed you bastards had you tried this shit. And they would have. Posse comitatus, let's go back to when Lincoln was in. 
After the Civil War, Lincoln declared martial law in certain cities in the South. Now he stated that he would not do this again, so he signed the Posse Comitatus Act right around the time that they left. Everything was calm. There was no rebellion afterwards. Well, he did get his ass wiped out, but still. I think that was a great thing on his part. Let's talk about Boston. They did declare martial law. Martial. As in M-A-R-T-I-A-L. See, too many people spell like Marshall, as in like the name Marshall. I fucking hate that. <sighs> they declared martial law after the Boston bombing to look for two fucking kids. Two fucking kids. They found one of them, they fucked his ass up. I mean, the guy had a hole in him the size of my head. Overkill. I've seen the pictures of his dead body. Holy fuck. Really? Do you need that much force? Hey, it's whatever. And right as they stopped declaring martial law, and they was like, okay, the search is over, which was about 7 o'clock in the morning. About two hours later, some guy decides he wants to step out and do is what I'm going to do right now. Because this video stresses me out, thinking that this is going to happen. Step outside on his deck. And he lit a cigarette. He lit a cigarette. And that's when he noticed that the tarp on his boat is up. And there's a blood trail to it. He goes over to that blood trail. He sees that this, there's this naked kid in there just bleeding out. He calls the police. Police come in. They use an armored vehicle of some sort with a long arm. Lift up that tarp, and then you see a bunch of guys just throw, lobbing fucking grenades and shit all over the place. They use flashbangs. In other words, more sound, less ouch. But it was close enough to in proximity where it sh might have possibly killed him with the concussion alone. Or it could have done so. Regardless of which, this fucker's deaf. You have flashbangs going off next to you that many times? That close to you, you're gonna be fucking deaf! <sighs> Terrible ordeal. But the fact is, they didn't find him. Yet afterwards they're claiming, oh, we found him, we found him, we found him, we found him. No, you fucking didn't. You didn't find shit, asshole. You didn't find a goddamn thing. The only reason why you found that fucker at all was because you didn't find him. Some guy decided to go out on his front deck, have a cigarette, and notice his tarp on his boat was undone, and find some naked kid. A gun battle ensued. No, it didn't. If it was a gun battle, it was a one-way street where everyone was shooting at one target, and no, and no shots back. No shots back. No shots back. No shots back. I watched the fucking videos. There's no gun battle ensuing. No, no, no. <sighs> okay. The fact of the matter is the government's been more clamping down on the people. Why? Because the people are freaking the fuck out. Why are the people fuck freaking the fuck out? Because the government's clamping down on them. So this is going to go until we have a flashpoint scenario where one of two things is going to happen. Either the government's going to freak the fuck out or we're going to have a citizen freak the fuck out. And there's the small unlikely possible number three. Where the government actually decides, okay, maybe we need to back off. But I don't see that happening. Militia groups are on the rise. Me, I'm a target shooter. I like putting projectiles, 45 ACP projectiles, ball ammo, into little circles. I don't shoot at humanoid targets. Just saying. Just, just stating that. I enjoy that. I go to the gun range... Whenever I'm taking my fucking earmuffs off, I hear those guys talking. There's militia groups in my town. There's militia groups in the town over. There's militia groups in the town over that way. The town back that way? The town back that way is actually where they make all the meth and shit like that. Because my state is the meth state, and that town has a population of about 100 people. And they have like 30 or 40 meth labs there. And the cops don't do shit because they're fucking cowards and they see that there's a danger to them and they won't do a damn thing. That's a lot of cops these days. Anyways, I've got a rant and a tangent on way too long. Oh god, nine minutes? Ten seconds? Shit. 
Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you think. Before I continue, I don't support groups like Infowars.com or Federal Jack or any of these other groups. I'm, I'm a neutral party. I say things for what they are. I'm not in full support. I'm not going to go with their propaganda schemes because they're just as bad when it comes to propagating propaganda as the federal government. That being said, I want to know what you think. We must be able to agree and disagree respectfully. I do not like trolling. I want to know what you think. If you like what I had to say, subscribe. If you hated what I had to say, I want you to dislike. Regardless, I want you to put a comment down. That is the big thing for me. I want to be able to engage with you guys on this directly. Alright? Have a good day.